So President Ekufuado yesterday, minutes to midnight, addressed the nation and he imposed some restrictions. What some people actually want to put it as a partial lockdown in part of Accra and the Kumase. But among the things he mentioned were fuel stations and he indicated that they were going to work. But a check round Accra or moving through Accra, you find that so many people have queued wanting to actually um, do this before Monday when there's um, some sort of a partial lockdown. So um, I'll try and speak to a few people here to find out why they have actually rushed to actually come and get these things when um, it will actually be open. These are part of the services you can actually moving freely to um, town to come and get. Healthcare, food, fuel, banks will be open, but people have still gathered here in their numbers to actually come and get this fuel. This is opposite the Labadi Beach Hotel. This filling station here is right opposite the Labadi Beach Hotel. And so I'll speak to a few people and try and see if I can speak to the attendants. Today seems to be a very busy time for them. So I would go through the other side this way and try and speak to some of them and get why they have actually opened themselves up. Because as you can see, no social distancing is being observed here. And that's a source of concern and worry to many people. So I'll, I'll, I'll speak to a few people and try and find out why they have decided to actually risk themselves this way instead of observing the social distancing rules that have been prescribed by the World Health Organization and the Ghana Health Service. So make my way, follow me, let, let, let's, let me make my way through the side and speak to some other people and find out why they have decided to come here um, today. Okay, so you can um, see the one in charge here. He's trying to um, actually get them to distance themselves. So he's tooting this horn to um, help them um, operate or actually observe the distancing rule. The people are so crowded here. So I'll be speaking to him, speaking to him shortly to, to, to get, find out from him why he's doing that. Thank you so much for joining us, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What, what's your name? My name is Fred okay. from Workers. Okay. And, and I can see you are just um, tooting this. What was this that you were tooting? Uh, it's an alarm that I'm blowing for the customers to have to give them to give distance to the, each other. Mm. When they are coming closer, they have to give them alert that they have to be give that two centimeters that we are seeing. So I blow this. <coughs> As an alarm for them. Okay. Uh, will, will you say that you are overwhelmed here with the numbers? Yes, yes. Actually, you see, we have closed the gate. Uh, we ask them to go outside and uh, we call them 555 to come because of we don't want them to be cloud. And uh, we have Veronica and Santaza, everything is here so that when they come, we give announcement for them to wash their hands and sanitize their, their distance. Yes. Okay. W what time did the numbers start trooping in? Uh, we start work at 6 o'clock and before we start work, people are here. Mm. Mm. So, so they came here before 6 o'clock, before you, been, you could even open the gate today? Yes, people yes, were here. people were here. Are you able to tell how many people you have attended to already? Oh, almost about 500 people. Mm. We have served them. Okay, and it's 1 o'clock already and you said we have 500 people? Y yes, we have served them already and we are still expecting more of them to come. Do you have enough gas to serve everybody here? Yes, yeah, we have enough gas to serve everybody, yes. Monday, will you come, since you are part of the people who are supposed to actually be here? Yes, we will come. We will come Monday to serve the, the public. Those who are in need of uh, gas will be coming and be serving them. Mm. Mm. So I have someone here. Did you come here to fill your gas? Yes, I came here. To uh, uh, okay, what time did you come? Around 7 a.m. 7 a.m. and it's 1 o'clock, 5 hours. Why, why, why won't you go and come back on Monday? Uh, actually, I didn't know they, they, um, I didn't know they would come on Monday. We just asked them and they told us after today they will come on Monday. But if I knew, I wouldn't be here today. But automatically, it's because of the uh, coronavirus. That's why we are all here. And what the president said yesterday. So we are here to fill our gas so that we can be indoors. Okay. What did the president say? That um, has actually pushed you into sort of a panic mode to come here? Uh, oh, okay. Um, it's because of the lockdown. And basically... That's why we are here. And if he says the lockdown, he said we should stay home. So that's why we are here to fill our gas, so that we won't be able to come out unnecessarily. As you can see, they have um, a Veronica bucket here. You, you just wash your hands. There's a sanitizer that you can, you can use. Hi, sir. 
Hello. Um, are you here to fill your gas? Yes. Okay, what time did you get here? I just got here. You just got here? Yes. And looking at the cars, doesn't it scare you to go back? Well, I don't, I don't have gas at all, so I would have to stay for my turn. So if it takes you to 6 p.m., you still be here? Well, I think it's a, it's a necessity, so I, I will. Okay. I initially did not want to come in the morning because um, I thought I knew there would be people here, so I wanted to wait till the numbers come down. And having heard of staff concerning the virus, I think I'll limit the risk if I come in the hot afternoon because then the temperature is so hot for the virus to be in the atmosphere. That is still a myth though, uh, considering the, the temperature and all that, but that's fine. Let me speak to some, some young people relatively here. Can I speak to you briefly? What's your name? Henrietta. Henrietta, how long have you been here? Since morning. What time? I came here around nine something and I'm still here. I have two cylinders here. One is 232 and one is 174. Since I came here, I'm still here. The line is not moving. Okay. So what do you think could be the problem? Since you, okay, so they've actually labeled everything here. Yes. The, and one, your first one is what, 174? And the second one is? 232. 232. Okay. Yeah. So did you um, come with the first one and went for a second one or you had someone bring you the I other came one? with the first one and my siblings came with the second one. Okay. So you said the line has not been moving at all? Yes. How so? Because there, there, there are numbers. Yes, but people are there and after the ones with the numbers are being given, then they shift theirs into the line. Mm. Yes. Mm. Where do you live? Around Osu Castle, that area. That's very far from here. Yeah. But why do you come all the way here? Yes, because this is the place that the line is cool here because at the trade fair side, they are stealing people's gases and all those stuff. And the people there are many than this place. So we've made a stop at the Seam Oil LPG Gas, um, this the Sita Flow Enterprise, just close to the Trade Fair Centre here in Accra. And I must say that um, with this particular place, um, you can actually see that the cylinders have been lined up. That's a very long queue that you can actually see here. But um, they are not allowed to enter, unlike other areas where we have been to. So they are calling them in tents to enter the filling station in fives and ten so that they are able to observe the social distancing rules there. So while speaking to some people there who have refused to speak to us on record, they, they are actually uh, on, on a timely basis trying to get them to distance themselves and not get close to each other. So when it's your turn, they call you in fives and tens and then you move your cylinder inside. If you have no business in there, you are not allowed to actually do uh, get inside to actually fill your cylinder. So it's a very calm scene um, here around um, the Trade Fair Centre. Um, people are been standing here for hours, and so I'll speak to only a few of them. And you can see them actually arguing over who came first and who didn't come first. They're actually arguing now. Hello, can I speak to you briefly? Okay. I can see you are actually um, sort of agitated, you are trying to, um, what, what's the problem actually? Yeah, they want to uh, cross me because I don't want them to cross me because the guys right now, they say 10-10. If you are not part of the 10, they will not fill it for you. So I don't want them to come and cross me here, that's why. Okay, so you came before them or they came Yes, I came before them. Okay, so how did you observe that someone was trying to get ahead of you? No, I was in front. By the time I, I came back, I was back, so I don't understand. That's why I make one like that, that's why. Uh, I don't want them to cross because they said we should stay in their room for two weeks. And I can't stay in my room without gas because I have to cook food. Let me try and speak to some other people who have been here. Hi. H how long have you been here? For about five hours. Wow. And you're still standing in the scorching sun. Why won't you go home and come back on Monday? Um, but is the gas empty at to uh, totally? No, but it's not enough inside, so we need to refill it. And then since they said... We have to be home for two weeks. I think it's best to refill it. But they will still be open, so in case it gets finished. Yeah, and I'm not sure they will, be re they will be opening. So, yeah, we asked the workers and they don't know if they will be coming or not. So, yeah, they are not even certain. That's why we are filling it. Okay, but are you observing the social distancing rules because your cylinders are close to each other? Yeah. They are all close to each other. You are not observing the rules. Don't you, don't, don't you think that you are putting yourself at some, there's a, some sort of a risk? 
Yeah, I don't think you really have an option because you can't leave the cylinder here and go and stand somewhere. You really have to be close to the cylinder. Because you are still close and then they are still crossing. So yeah, I don't think the social distances can work in this situation. Let me, let me try and cross and speak to my, my lady here. Okay. Hello, ma'am. Yeah, good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you doing? You look tired. Not be easy. I'm fine by his grace. Mm. So how long have you been here? And, and, and I, I saw that you were actually <laughs> arguing over... Yes, please. I was here by 7, 7 30 from the morning. And I left four months baby in the house. Mm. Because of the sun, I have to go and look for somewhere to sit. And by the time you come, then they change the, your cylinder. So I can't just sit down because I'm not comfortable leaving my baby in the house and sitting here. So if I see someone cross me, but to be honest, I will not spare the person at all. So that's the reason why I'm worried by myself. <laughs> so we've seen long winding queues at the filling stations, um, basically the gas stations. And we want to find out also what the market looks like for um, many who are into the charcoal business. Thank you so much for joining us on the City News. Welcome, madam. Okay. So, um, I can see you are buying some charcoal. Yes. Okay, is this something you do regularly? No, it's, <laughs> it's because of the lockdown. Really? That's why I want to buy one bag of it. You are buying a full um, um, sack? Yes, please. Well, that, that's quite a lot. Do you, do you live alone? No, I live with my husband and my children. Okay, and how, how many are you total? We are eight in the house. Okay, all right. Do you also use gas? I use gas. So why are you buying a whole sack for two weeks? Sometimes we cook banku and all those things, kukonte and all those things, so we cannot cook uh, banku when we want to cook plenty, so we have to cook it on charcoal. Uh -huh, that's why I want to buy more. Okay. That is the situation here at Malamata Market. The queues are interesting. I mean, you usually have people coming here, but few of them have actually sold out. And so everybody um, here, I mean, this, this woman just had to refill. She just had to refill her, her space. You realize they have um, some divisions. There are sort of some cubicles. Few minutes ago, it was empty. Um, she's had to refill and she sold out. Minutes later, she has had to uh, stock up again. So that's the situation here at Malata Market. It's not only with the gas, but also charcoal is also seeing some sort of a boost um, when it comes to um, Patreon. The panic buying is so, uh, I mean, um, so high um, around the markets and Malamata is no exception. So um, we'll try and speak to some of the market women to, to find out from them what the business has been like in particular today. Ma, I mean, say why you busy, but I say, I mean, I'm not going to And the market now is saying? Oh, and then, yeah, to. What's your name? I'm going to say, 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 how many uh, sacks now are you going to say? I'm going to say, 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 I'm Batch of and is this how you buy it um, every day? Every day, 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 every Mm. Uh, 